Faraday pouch on. Hi, my name is Chuck. Is there anybody here who's hit with me right now? And if there's any spirits that are here, can you come forward and talk to me at this time, please? Did you say you needed help? Myra. Myra? Hi, Myra. My name is Chuck. It's nice to meet you. This is my first time here. I think that's what you just said. But it leaves the blowing, so it might be a little hard to hear. But again, to speak as loudly and clearly as possible, and I should be able to hear you. Do you understand this? No. No? Well, you spoke loudly and clearly, so I thank you. Does it, does it bother you I'm trying to communicate with you? No. No? Okay, good. This is my this is my first time to this cemetery. It's a beautiful cemetery, very peaceful. I just saw some deer run past. Have you have you been following me around trying to talk into my box or use my equipment? These these, these items that probably look strange to you. Are there other people like me that come here to try to communicate with you? Help. Did, you, did you also say you needed help? I heard a male voice saying help. Do you need help? Light. Light? You want to cross into the light? Help crossing into the light? I don't. You do? Do you want me to tell you how to cross into the light? I, I can't take you there myself, but I can tell you what you need to do. Yes, I'll do it right here. Is that what you would like? Help you? Stop. Do you want me to stop moving around and stand still? Alright, I'm going to explain to you what you need to do to cross into the light, okay? Ready? Alright, this is what you need to do. You have to understand, i got to explain something to you first, okay? The reason why you can't see the light is because you're holding on to too much negative energy. Anger, fear, sadness, loneliness. You need to let that go. You need to let it out of you. Remember, God and Jesus are filled with unconditional divine love. They want you to cross into the light. For you to see the light, you have to shed yourself of these negative emotions. Do you understand this? Right. Please understand, too, if you're afraid of crossing over and getting punished, remember, God and Jesus are filled with unconditional divine love. They are not going to lure you into the light to punish you. Do you understand this? No matter what you did here on earth, you were here to learn lessons. Alright. You learn your lessons your entire life. That's why you're given free will. God and Jesus understand that you've made mistakes. Okay? 
what you need to do is, the first thing I want you to do is, even though God and Jesus have already forgiven you for things you did in your life, it will help relieve guilt off your shoulders if you call out and ask Him for forgiveness. And once you've asked for him forgiveness, you need to ask for forgiveness for those you may have wronged in your life. Once you've done that, then you need to you need to give forgiveness. You need to give forgiveness for those who you may have done who may have done bad things to you. You need to let that go. You understand this? Sorry. Some, somebody may have done something horrible to you, but you need to let it go. That happened way long ago. If you want to cross into the light, you need to forgive. And then once you've done that, you need to forgive yourself for things you did in your life. Regrets that you have, things you wish you hadn't done or had done, you need to let those go. thing you need to do once you've asked for all the forgiveness, start filling yourself with love. Yes, in order to cross into the light, you need to be able to, that's, when you cross into the light, you enter into a land of, a place of unconditional divine love, divine joy, divine happiness. For you to cross over, you need to have love. Without love, you can't go into a land that's nothing but love. So take the time and fill your heart, fill yourself, your soul, your spirit with love. Think about your parents, your grandparents, children, friends. You need the bishop too? I'm not a bishop. Once you've done all that stuff and you filled yourself up with that love, release the negative energy, ask for forgiveness, fill yourself with love, and look up and look to the light. Can you see it? Yes, it's peace. Look up for the light. It may be very bright, but it's going to be a golden white light. It's golden white light. Yes, Chuck, my name, my name is Chuck. <laughs> Fill yourself with the love, look for the light, and when you see the light, just head towards it. <laughs> it's not going to hurt you. When you're going to cross over, you're going to be, oh my God, why did it take you so long for me to do this? <laughs> yes, if you're ready, go. Don't wait for me. You do it on your own. Help from guardian angels or spirit guides, call out to them and let them know, and they'll be happy to escort you. You have nothing to be afraid of. You understand this? Did anybody cross over into the light? Anybody cross into the light, and if so, what was their name? <laughs> Is there anybody left here? I can't force anybody to cross over. That's something you have to do on your own accord. That has to be your free will. Do you understand this? Shut this down since nobody's talking to me. Oh, who said that? All right, on the count of five, I'm going to shut down, but I will come back again, and I may come back with friends. Is this okay? Yeah? All right, so I see there's still a couple left. You 
flash into the light when you want to. I can't make you. That's something you have to do on your own, okay? But I want you to cross over. I don't want you to stay here. Thank you for your, uh, your time with me. I have to be heading home because i got to get ready to get my daughter and take her to the dentist to have a teeth fix. Okay, ready? I'm going to count to five. I'm going to shut down. Five. One. Two. Yes, two. Three. Four. And five. Alright, I'm going to shut down. You need to go back to where you came from. Thank you for talking to me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, that was interesting indeed.